In America, trucks move over 70% of all freight, and the efficiency of this transportation system is critical to the functioning of the economy. However, due to various factors, freight bottlenecks have become a major challenge for truckers and logistics companies. Today, we're going to explore the top 10 freight bottlenecks in America and learn about the causes, effects, and potential solutions for this issue. But before we dive in, if you wouldn't mind tossing a thumbs up on this video and subscribing to our channel, that would be greatly appreciated. All right, let's get into it. The American Transportation Research Institute, or ATRI for short, annually releases a report on the most congested bottlenecks for trucks in America. The 2023 Top Truck Bottleneck List measures the level of truck-involved congestion at over 300 locations on the national highway system. The analysis is based on an extensive database of freight truck GPS data, uses several customized software applications and analysis methods, along with terabytes of data from trucking operations, to produce a congestion impact ranking for each location. From this, they have found that the 10 worst bottlenecks in America are in New Jersey, Chicago, Houston, Atlanta, Los Angeles, Nashville, and San Bernardino. Now, let's go through each one of these one by one. For the fifth year in a row, the intersection of I-95 and SR4 in Fort Lee, New Jersey, is the worst bottleneck for trucks in the United States. This bottleneck is a key route for trucks traveling between the ports of New York and New Jersey and the rest of the country. The high volume of truck traffic combined with commuter traffic and construction can cause significant delays for trucks transporting goods. The second bottleneck is in Chicago and is the I-294 at the I-290 and I-88 interchange. This bottleneck is a key route for trucks traveling to and from the city's western suburbs and O'Hare International Airport. The high volume of traffic combined with construction and lane closures can cause significant delays for trucks transporting goods in and out of the city. Houston is a major transportation hub with several major highways intersecting in the city. One of the most congested areas in Houston is the I-45 at I-69 US-59 interchange. This bottleneck is a key route for trucks traveling to and from the city's ports and industrial areas, and the high volume of traffic can cause significant delays. Atlanta is another major transportation hub, with several major highways intersecting in the city. One of the most congested bottlenecks in Atlanta is the I-20 at I-285 West Interchange. This bottleneck is a key route for trucks traveling to and from the city's western suburbs and the Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport. Los Angeles is one of the largest and busiest cities in the United States, and it's no surprise that it has two bottlenecks on this list as well. The first is the I-710 and I-105 Interchange, where trucks face long wait times due to congestion caused by heavy traffic and port activity. LA is no stranger to heavy traffic. This bottleneck can cause significant delays for truckers transporting goods to and from nearby ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. The second bottleneck in Los Angeles is the SR60 at SR57 interchange. This bottleneck is located in the eastern part of Los Angeles County and is a key route for trucks carrying goods between the Inland Empire and the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. The high volume of truck traffic combined with commuter traffic can cause major delays and slow down the movement of goods. The seventh bottleneck on our list is located in Nashville, Tennessee, where the intersection of I-24, I-40, and the I-440 East is causing major headaches for truck drivers. This area is a critical route for freight transportation, connecting Nashville to other major cities in the southeast. The intersection of these highways creates a major bottleneck, leading to significant delays and congestion for truck drivers. This bottleneck has been a constant issue in recent years and highlights the need for investment in infrastructure to improve freight mobility in this region. Eighth bottleneck is located in San Bernardino, California, where the I-10 intersects with the I-15. This intersection is a critical route for freight transportation, connecting Southern California to Las Vegas and other major cities in the Southwest. The intersection of these highways creates a major bottleneck, leading to significant delays in congestion for truck drivers. The area is particularly problematic during peak travel times, such as holidays and weekends, when increased passenger vehicle traffic exceeds that of normal times. The ninth bottleneck on our list is located in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, where the I-35 West intersects with the I-820 North. 
This intersection is a critical route for freight transportation, connecting the ports of Houston and Dallas-Fort Worth to major highways and rail yards. The intersection of these highways creates a major bottleneck, leading to significant delays and congestion for drivers. This bottleneck has been a consistent issue in recent years and highlights the need for investment in infrastructure in this region as well. Finally, the last bottleneck on our list is located in Indianapolis, Indiana, where the I-65 interacts with the I-70. This intersection is a critical route for freight transportation, connecting the Midwest to major highways and rail yards. Now that we've covered the top 10 freight bottlenecks in America, let's take a look at what can be done to minimize their impact on our economy in daily lives. One solution is to improve infrastructure. Investing in infrastructure projects can help alleviate congestion and improve efficiency. This includes expanding and upgrading highways and interstates, repairing bridges and roads, and implementing new technologies like smart traffic management systems. By doing so, we can reduce travel times for trucks and other vehicles, lower fuel consumption and emissions, and improve safety. Another solution is to encourage greater use of alternative transportation modes. Rail and waterway transportation can help reduce congestion on highways, especially for long distance freight. Improving intermodal connectivity between rail, ports, and highways can increase the efficiency of freight movements and help reduce bottlenecks. In addition, public policy changes can be made to help mitigate the effects of these. This includes creating incentives for companies to shift their deliveries to off-peak hours or using alternative transportation modes, implementing policies that promote the use of fuel-efficient and low-emission vehicles, and creating tax incentives for infrastructure investments. Overall, addressing freight bottlenecks is crucial for the health of our economy and our communities. By investing in infrastructure, encouraging the use of alternative transportation modes, and implementing public policy changes, we can improve the efficiency and safety of our transportation systems and keep our economy moving forward. However, we'd like to hear what you think. What's the best way to alleviate bottlenecks and make sure you don't get caught in them? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates in the future, and we'll catch you next time.